All right, ladies, gentlemen, and kitties. Today, I'll be riding the 2018 Street Glide. Look at this. Red, red as a blood. It's like a candy apple red style. So, let's see how this thing rides. I would like to thank Henderson Harley Davidson and Harley Davidson in North America for hosting this awesome event. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, one thing to notice about the clutch. This clutch is on a... It engages very late, almost close to the releasing point already. So far, so good. The ergonomics is pretty good. Uh, a little bit different, as I would say. This is a 2018 Street Glide. I think it's one of the newest soft tail series. And I think we're good to go. Sounds nice, sounds very nice. The rear brakes is very tactile and then the front brakes has a little bit of a play but it's still very good. Uh, the, the gauges on this bike is very legible. It's white face which is pretty different for a Harley. I barely ride some Harleys anyway. All right, ergonomics check. Typical cruiser, foot down. The reach is pretty per pretty good. It doesn't strain you, um, you still sit upright at some degree. It's been a while I haven't ridden a cruiser, so now let me see if I can put it to neutral. Yep, like most Harleys, it's hard to put it on neutral. And this one has a weird uh, gear selector. You can you, you can kick down. I will, sh I will show you the screen on what type of uh, gear selector that this thing has. Also, the uh, turn signal is uh, are self-canceling. Wow, this, is, this bike is beefy. In fact, I think I feel this bike is even beefier than the fat bike that I rode back in Arizona a few months ago. It sounds like it has an aftermarket exhaust already, but it's a stock exhaust. Well, you can really feel the heft of this bike. And this one has the, the sound system. But the problem is the sound system right now is so, so loud. So I'm just gonna turn it down to make it mute. So this is my first time riding this street glide, especially in this configuration. Yeah, you better be careful in um, releasing the clutch. I can't wait to, to see how this bike goes in the freeway. So far so good, it handles pretty neutral. I can lean it properly too. It's very stable in the corners, but of course you can still feel the weight of the bike. Now we're hitting at the highway speeds right now. I think the air intake is touching my left leg, part of my left leg. Other than that, there's not much inconvenience in this bike whatsoever. Riding it with one hand is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty neutral, very tactile. But of course, like any Harleys that you're gonna be riding, you have to manhandle this thing. Shifting gears on this bike is pretty easy. Although, as what I said, it, you have to give it some force like most Harleys right now, uh, nowadays. Actually, most Harleys in particular. Um, while we're riding the highway speeds right now, um, although I've been whipped around right now by this semi truck and the uh, typical highway speeds right now, oh, it smells like, it smells like cattle. <laughs> um, Wind protection towards my helmet is pretty, pretty good. 
this little uh, windscreen does its job very well. It's one of the best I've seen in a low windscreen like this. It doesn't bubble my head. It really protects my helmet pretty well. And the visibility is almost like a naked bike. Almost. So far, my foot room is kind of kind of tight. But I don't have that much foot room on the floorboards of this bike. Like most Harleys, uh, the turn signals are not in one side of the handlebar it's on both sides one on each direction so at first it's pretty weird it's a different style of uh, turn signal uh, placement other than that everything else is pretty logical Rev matching this bike is pretty easy. There's nothing to it. It's pretty easy to uh, modulate the revs. Yeah, look at that foot room. I don't have much foot room. Look at my feet compared to it. <laughs> Other than the, the clutch has a very tricky engagement. Once you get used to it, you can get okay already. Yeah, as you can see right now. Look at my size 13 feet, uh, foot right here and to the rear brakes. It's just I don't have much room. I have to stick my feet out a little bit. Same goes with this side. See? <laughs> and since this is a Harley, I'm still having a hard time how to put this bike into neutral. Plus, this bike doesn't have a gear shift indicator. Yeah, no gear shift indicator. So... You just have to guess yourself on how much, uh, what gear are you in. Other than that, I won't use this bike for daily commuting though because it's too big. It's too hulking. But if you're gonna ride with friends like this one, if you're gonna cruise around, this bike can blend in pretty well. I don't know if I'll get with this color, with this bright red, apple red paint scheme, but oh well. Another thing that I noticed in this bike is I see an R on that gauge over there. Does that mean it has a reverse gear? I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen if I was right or wrong, whatever. But there's an R that is a uh, sitting next to the uh, high beam uh, icon. Suspension wise, um, the tires is a, feels like it has knobbies. It has a, uh, it's not smooth. It's not as smooth as a fat boy or the Chieftain or, or those, uh, those other big cruisers. It feels like I'm riding with knobbies. It's a cruiser with knobbies. It's like a dirt bike. See? That's what I first think as I rolled down the parking lot earlier that I kind of feel that this bike has knobbies. Another thing about this bike is, of course, like all Harleys, you can feel the spirit of America. You can feel almost everything on this bike. It's bobbing, shaking, whatever. You can really feel the, the heft, the Americanness in this thing. Just like the fat boy too. The suspension is a little stiffer than I would thought. That I would think actually. Because uh, that's what I I always thought that if I have a big big cruiser like this, it will be a smooth tour, but I don't know, maybe it rattles a bit too much for my liking. It vibrates a bit. But not to the point of annoying uh, annoyance like some Ducatis or some bikes the court is pretty good though the engine sound is pretty nice and I'm currently I'm ear wearing an earplug uh, earplugs right now 
and it sounds nice already imagine hearing this bike without earplugs I don't know if you guys can hear it through the speakers right now and this bike has a very low revs the, revol uh, the RPM in this bike is similar to a car already the red line is reaching towards 5500 RPMs so it's almost like a car already it doesn't like to rev it wants you to take advantage of all of its torque as a big block um, motor one thing I like one thing another thing that I like about this bike is it's a throttle mapping it's pretty good let's see what engine is this oh yeah this one has the smaller Milwaukee 8 engine which was it has a hundred seven cubic inch I'll just translate it in how many that is in liters or C cubic inches a uh, cubic oh that's a nice hot rod CC's I like the way they blended the side mirrors on each side right here it's it blends it really nicely the visibility is pretty perfect But it's so refreshing to ride a bike again. Let's see how it handles the railroad tracks. <laughs> okay, okay. It isolates most of it, which is good. Um, let me see. If I sit straight like this, it still feels comfortable. My issue with riding with um with cruisers. It, it forces me to slouch I don't know that's my only issue with cruisers on a personal basis though yeah it sounds so nice uh, I don't know if you can see it through the through the camera or through the screen but as I was downshifting going to a full stop this bike is just shaking aggressively I don't know maybe it's the character of the bike maybe it has that delay when you snap your throttle on it, see? Oh no, I can get it now, the modulation. Yeah, the, the throttle is excellent. See, the position is excellent, the visibility too is excellent. It kind of feels a little bit bulky. And if I compare this to the Indian Chieftain, it's way less refined compared to the Chieftain. But to some riders, they like this roughness compared to the Chieftain. The Chieftain feels like an S-Class compared to this. But that's not a bad thing to most people. It's because it's a character of the bike, like what Ducati is the, the, does, or of course Harley. Also, the th one thing I noticed about this bike, you just have to go to the highest gear, and then just, just and they let it chug along. Don't 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 force it to go super bike or revving or whatever. Now I can feel the heat from here on my leg, on my right leg. See if I if I put my leg up, it really hits this part of my leg. Right, right around here I can feel the heat of the engine from there very shiny and this this bike also has a keyless entry it's just a keyless entry or keyless start so you can just put your key fob on your on your pocket and then up you go just twist this little thing and up you go happiness another thing that is unique for me at least personally is it has a battery vault it has a voltmeter which is good it's very handy as we head back to the dealership Henderson Harley Davidson I would like to thank them to, for hosting this this uh, demo ride event and uh, Harley Davidson in North America too there you go all right as we approach 
to the final leg of this run. Let's see how this bike handles on s slow speeds. Yeah, the vibration feels like you're riding with knobbies. <laughs> That's a very glaring thought on this bike, in my opinion, actually. I'm on first gear. Alrighty. We're back. Gears is uh, closing, uh, switching it off. Done. Lock. The kickstand is pretty tricky to find, but if you own this bike, you'll get used to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alrighty. Mm. Let me see. It feels like you're running on knobbies, but it's not. It's a custom wheel, a uh, custom tire from Harley. This is the smaller Milwaukee 8 engine right here. Chrome, six speed manual. All chromeness, as typical Harley is. Then, of course, very classic looking. This is where the drive belt goes, I think. Yeah, I think so. And then, very nice. It's nice to look at. And there you go, the 2018 Harley Street Glide. What do I think of it? Thumbs up. It's a beautiful bike, and that's it. There else to it, actually. All right, guys. See you guys later. Peace out. Yeah.